Hi everyone, it's Louise O'Connor here and I'm the executive producer on Everwild. And today I am joined by a very special guest. Ryan Stevenson and I'm art director on Everwild. And today what we're going to do is take you through a kind of commentary on the trailer that we've just released. So we can give you a little bit more insight into what we've created. So let's get to it. So to start with the opening, as with all Rare games, we always make the, the Rare logo something unique for the title. But with Everwild, we want to do something a bit different. This time, it isn't about the actual logo itself. It's about what it reveals. It's a window into another world. So it's oh, I love that this so much. window into our yeah. natural world that we're making that is fantastical and interesting and, and full of nature. And so we did that also on our last trailer as well, but it had a different shot. So each time, Rare's revealing a new window into the world of Everwild. And I love seeing the Rare logo. There's nothing, there's nothing like watching the logo onto your game and then you hear Chloe's opening, yep. you know, singing Absolutely. this song and it's just, you know what's about to happen. It's, it's incredible. And I love the window into the world. It, it just, it makes sense for Everwild. So the next shot, it's mm. opening on that big vista mm. with our Aurora Borealis above and our Eternals. Yeah which are our... They are player characters. Yeah, so yeah, we're very excited to be able to share what they're called, our Eternals. So um, yeah, it's cool that we get to introduce them in this particular shot with their creatures by their side. And that's an important part, it's the connection as well. Mm -hmm. So um, all the way through the trailer, you, you start seeing these little moments of connection between the Eternals and also the animals that, mm -hmm. that they interact with. And right at the start, there is the Eternal on the far right, and she's walking alongside a deer-like creature. Bloom deer, as, Bloom deer. Our, as our Discord people are calling it. So thank you for the Bloom deer. <laughs> <laughs> so, walking alongside the Bloom deer, and that, again, it's a bit of a callback to our past trailer, where you can actually see that, that moment of connection being built. Mm -hmm. Which kind of takes us into our next shot, right? Which is the campfire. So as we've been developing this project, we've been learning a lot about the natural world and, and, and all the crazy animals and things that live in it. So one of the creatures that appears in, in the campfire shot is this bird-like creature that swoops down and takes yeah. some food out of, out of one of the Eternal's hands. There's a relationship between that creature and the Eternal's. And obviously you see the Eternal offers this creature some mm -hmm. food. It comes down and picks it up. But that's a relationship that's almost like symbiotic mm -hmm. as in, in the sense of that this creature needs um, others to help it hunt. And obviously that's a beneficial thing to mm -hmm. the Eternals as well, to find things within the world. And that's a very prevalent thing in the natural real world anyway. Like a lot of creatures do this, like they, they build up these symbiotic relationships, like the, those birds that sit on the backs of like elephants and rhinos and things, yeah. right? They do that because it helps their feeding habits. So it's just a great way to inspire us as game developers to think about the types of personalities that some of these creatures would have and some of these behaviours that they would have as well. So the next shot is the mountain pass shot. Yep. Oh, I love this because it's very different to, to what we showed before. Another example of just like how diverse this world is, how many different types of environments you can have and, and just how interesting all of those environments can be. But obviously this is a moment that can be a bit treacherous. Um, yeah, it's 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 also that epic and the intimate because mm. there's that epic moment. It's that big mountain range. It's looking out over the world. But then there's this, this creature that gets worried. But because of that relationship the Eternal has with it, they're able to calm it down mm -hmm. and, and make sure that it doesn't get into even more trouble because obviously it's a, a, a treacherous moment. Yeah, I think that's cool. Yeah, I don't know about you. Is. Do you think that's cool? Yeah, that's I cool. think that's cool. So our Eternals in the world can obviously protect things. Mm -hmm. as well in the world. And if you look at the, the end of the shot, you can see why they're doing this. They're protecting a tree that's in a forest that's still got a little bit of life on. And what are they protecting it from? A swarm of these insects that are slowly going through the world and, and eating, like, like locusts. Yeah. So the Eternals are creating this barrier with this special mark mm -hmm. making yeah. that is going to protect this tree. And hopefully life will find a way yeah. with that tree once more. I actually really love the flow of this shot, the fluidity of this shot. There's something just really beautiful about this moment of trying to protect life in, yeah. in this world. I think that's, that's really cool. So our next shot features a different creature mm -hmm. for us. First time we're showing this one as well. Um, and he's really fluffy. <laughs> Sorry. Um, 
So it's a fluffy creature, but it's inspired by elephants mm -hmm. and the way that they can tear down trees and, and actually um, remove plant life from an area. So this is something that this creature does naturally mm -hmm. within its own world. And it's an action, um, pulling down plant life and then feeding off it is something that it, it, it just does mm -hmm. itself. But our Eternals have built a bond with this creature that, that they're able to then um, encourage it to do that same action when they need it to happen for, for whatever reason that they need it to happen for. And the other thing about this is, again, it's another type of environment, right? Yes. You know, I mean, I know you love to challenge yourself artistically, <laughs> but I suppose from an art perspective, it's quite challenging to have all of these different types of environments. But it's also refreshing yeah. in a way just to, to have all of this scope to be creative uh, in your vision for art for the game as well. Yes, yeah, so it's a rich, dense world with, mm. with so many different um, environments and, and biomes, as, as yeah. we sometimes call them, um, to experience and explore. Mm -hmm. I love this moment of stillness, this frame of this eternal, just taking some time um, in, in this beautiful pond and there's this bioluminescence all around her. And it's a moment of, of tranquility and peace. And I think this is something that you don't get to see in, or experience in a game. And I love that we put this in the middle of our trailer and made sure that we broke up the trailer in a way that gave you a moment to just take everything in, to take in this world, to take in these creatures, take in these characters and just have a moment of, of peace and tranquility. And, and I think that that's why it's my favorite. You don't always know what something is in the natural world. It mm -hmm. could look really nice, but you actually get close to it and it's, oh dear, that it's, it's turned, it's not quite what you expected. Mm -hmm. And you can see that the Eternals are uh, having that moment um, within this shot where they're slowly approaching this rather large creature. And they're about to learn a valuable yeah, lesson. <laughs> they're about to learn a valuable lesson about it. And this creature is an interesting one. It's very much inspired by animals where the other animals that live inside them or that they get looked after inside them. So there's some fish that actually have other little fish that, that hide inside their mouths. But this creature, there is a relationship between the smaller creatures that come out of this one's mouth, which we, we're not really talking about that relationship just yet, but it isn't quite what you expect. And it's this unusual creature that the Eternals will have to learn a little bit more about um, to be able to approach a little bit more safely next time. How many favourite shots can I have? Because uh, you're allowed. That's 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 your next favourite one. That is my next. I mean, yeah, I really like this shot. I love. We got this eternal um, protecting this creature, which everybody seems to have fallen in love with this particular creature from our first trailer as well. It's just building this sense of danger and this, this anxiousness. You know that there's something wrong in this moment and, and you want to fix it. Yep. Um, and you can tell that there's, there's a story about to develop here. Uh, and I, that's what I really like about this shot, is this, this anticipation to something bigger um, yep. that's about to happen. It's also interesting that it's one of our older Eternals. Mm -hmm. um, and they're looking Nothing after... wrong with being a bit <laughs> older. <laughs> and, they're, and they're looking after a young, mm -hmm. and that was, was something mm -hmm. um, that was really important, that, that relationship mm -hmm. um, between, between those yeah. two characters in that, in that way. In this shot, um, our Eternals have found something, mm -hmm. but obviously it's night time, so they're unable to see. Um, but one of them has got a glow book like thing <laughs> and it, they've released it into the environment and it's able to light their way mm. to show where, where things are and reveal hidden things within the world. Yeah. And I love that. This is, this is a great moment as well for Everwild. This isn't just a natural world. This is a world of history. It's a world of things to discover. Yeah. Uh, and I think that this shot shows that something else has been there and something else has happened. And it's lovely that we have this richness of exploration in, in the world of Everwild. What I love about the transition between that last shot and this shot is the swell in the music as well. Obviously, as we're making the trailer, like we're we're handing over storyboards to, to Robin and Jamie and they're kind of working up the music alongside, but it just fills me up when I hear the music. And then all of a sudden you're on a mountaintop looking out over this world with your friends. And I think that the music and, and this kind of moment just feels epic. It feels yeah. epic.
So for this shot, it is that continuation from the shot earlier where we saw our Eternal carrying a, a small creature um, going to, to save it. And, and this is the moment that it's been leading up mm. to. This is where you find out that that creature, it really isn't in a good way. Um, they've, they've tried some things maybe, but they need to really, really help this animal. Yeah. And they're going to find out a way of doing it mm -hmm. through um, a ritual. Yeah. I love this moment as well, this ritual, this movement and, and the rhythm as well, because it goes back into the, our world has a rhythm and our, exactly. and our Eternals are, are doing this dance and it's just so fluid mm. and the motion is lovely in it. And it's kind of a beautiful moment because it's a real nurturing moment, I think, as well. Like you're making a decision to do a positive thing. And I think what we wanted to do is um, a big part of our trailer as we move into the final shots is um, we wanted to introduce something new and magical to the world, which, which are our spirits. They've done this ritual and it's, it's brought this spirit into the world in, in this moment. And I think, again, nature is so powerful and so magical. Why not make them characters in Absolutely. our game? Yeah. Right. I love this. Again, we've culminated and ended in this moment where our Eternals are connecting with a creature or something fantastical. And I think that's, that's, that's just a really nice way to end a trailer and make you feel, hopefully feel like you want a bit more as well. Absolutely. Thank you very much for joining us today. And hopefully that was a little bit more insight into the world of Everwild. And there is plenty more to come. So thank you for watching. Thank you for all your support. Um, please go check out the Rare channels. Go check out our Discord if you want to go name some creatures. Um, we would love to see what you have to say about Everwild. Thanks, everyone. Bye. <laughs>